Hey, what's up guys? So kind of a show and tell project here on this watch winder that I designed. This is all 3D printed. Uh, but also wanted to just talk about the motor control here because I myself discovered a new driver that you may not know about. So this is just a simple watch winder. It rotates the watch in both directions randomly. And I wanted to use a stepper motor for this so that I get nice smooth rotation, very precise movement in both directions so that I can rotate uh, one full rotation, two, two and a half, you know, whatever. And it does in the code just randomly select how many rotations. So for this though, I wanted it to rotate slowly, but also because it's sitting on my desk here, it needs to be quiet. So originally, I went with a unipolar motor, which is, you probably have seen these online, they're very cheap unipolar motors. Um, and the reason you can use these for this sort of thing is because they have a built-in gearbox. So you can full step these and you get the slow, nice, smooth movement out of the shaft because it's geared way down. So these are nice and all, but, and I actually did, build one of these based on this but over time running all day long it started grinding the gears inside just started grinding and that was actually more annoying than if I had gone with a popular bipolar stepper driver so right here is a uh, bipolar stepper motor from spark fun I think that's where I got this one and this is a very cheap stepper motor but if you control it with a popular TI DRV8825 or the Easy Driver, which is based on an Allegro part, the A3967, you have to microstep these things because there is no gear down here. So microstepping is going to give you that smooth uh, movement at the shaft. But the problem there with these drivers is that they kind of have a high frequency whine and uh, or like it's almost like a hiss in the motor. So that would not work for something sitting on my desk. So anyway, I looked around a little bit and found the, well actually based on my uh, 3D printer because those motors are silent, they're based on a uh, Trinamic chipset. And right down there you see that I have a board and that is called the silent step stick, I think is what they call it. And I actually have two of them here. Yeah, it's called the silent step stick. stick and it's based on the TMC 2100. So anyway, very cool. And what's nice about this is that it is a near drop-in replacement for either the DRV8825 or um, this Allegro. Uh, A3967 so meaning that you can control them in the same way and that's exactly what I've done here so that video I did a long time ago on the DRV8825 applies directly to this driver so all the only control lines that I have going from my AT Mega 328 are the step signal and the direction signal okay and that's it and I, I left all the other pins in their default states the only thing you got to watch with this driver, and this is a little tip, is that you need to have a large capacitor right across your uh, VM and ground. VM is the voltage for the motor, and in this case I'm powering it from 12 volts. So that's why you see that big 1000 microfarad capacitor, because I found out the hard way with this one, at least that's what I think happened, is that I did not have that capacitor, so I somehow smoked the chip and now this one is actually latched in a shorted state so if I apply voltage across there it, it's a dead short so anyway I had to buy two of them and learn that the hard way um, also what's cool is right now it's actually only pulling uh, about 0.8 watts and I like that it's not geared down because I can just stall the motor anywhere I want and then it just picks back up so it's nice and safe and I can pull the watch off actually while it's trying to wind of course I've got the power switch at the top so I don't have any uh, schematics or drawings or anything like that I certainly would not release these uh, CAD files because they're not very good uh, unless somebody really wants them so this will button up just like that Okay, so anyway, also just uh, just wanted to let you know about that uh, silent step stick. Very cool part, and as you can see, it's 
You might not even be able to hear that anyway on camera, but it is completely silent. The only thing you hear is a slight ratchet uh, every once in a while from the watch itself. But the motor and the driver, completely silent. And again, pulling less than one watt. So you can't beat that. And uh, definitely can't beat that if you were to use that unipolar uh, motor wherever I threw that out here. Okay, so, okay. Anyway, just a quick video there. Thought I'd share. Thanks for watching.